Okay. So now that I've got a gun that actually should wreck groups of enemies, this might go a bit faster. Well, honestly, I, I don't know. I guess I wasn't doing terribly. I love the soundtrack. Just very satisfying. Hey, there's Altorial. We. I wonder what low poly Warframe would look like. Probably actually be really cool. Oh, I got the data mass. Oh, it's this one. The, the mission that we were supposed to do before it bugged out. What do you know? Oh, Darkens. Actually, can. I thought I heard you can ride them now. Probably actually do this. I wonder if I have chilling reload on this thing. I don't actually know if I do. I'll have to check that at some point. I love this gun. Okay, you can hijack them when they're landed. Oh, okay. I'm frozen. I'm really slow. Oh, do we have... Yeah, we've got a trend. I was like, why do I have, like, crazy overshield right now? And there's our answer. Dang it, just interrupting me in the middle of the reload. I almost kind of wish if you got knocked over while you're reloading, you'd continue your uh, reload cycle. Or at least, like, a mild penalty instead of starting the whole thing over. That'd be kind of neat. Pew, pew. Yeah, I like the Astola. I, I like the idea of the Corinth. I'll probably get back to it. I just... The Astola is like, hey, it's a group of enemies. Murder them. first I thought this gun sucked. I was just like, this is a bad shotgun. And the answer is no, it's not a bad shotgun. It's amazing. I like it better than the Plasmor. Whoa, these are cool. Is this, uh... Zephyr? Zephyr. I was, I was like... Looks like Zephyr, but slightly different from what I'm used to. And I couldn't quite put it to words. The answer is because, well, they did change stuff. We Yeah, Mirage Astle is great. Uh, non non Mirage Astle is great. It's a good gun. I I think I will always go for more of a crowd clearing setup than anything else. Even though I should probably use like the Corinth. I should probably use the Corinth against bosses. I'm just I don't know, I've always been more of a um I've always been more of a fan. Of, like, killing groups of enemies. So there was something about... Uh, I should have read this when it popped by, but I think I was distracted by other things. But apparently the, like, concept for the new Dark Sector is, like, um... It'll have... Like, infinite with some objectives and then just a lot of enemies. That'd be neat. Get out of here. Go away. There it goes. Oh. Hello. Goodbye. Kind of like Rifts on Diablo. I've never actually played Diablo 3 since all of their major changes. I played Diablo 3, um... I played Diablo 3 on launch. Hated it. For good reason. And then just kind of decided never again. And then, um... Everybody got, like, really bananas about it after the, what... Second patch? Second, like, major patch. The version 2... 2.0? And I was just like, I'd like to get back into this, but man, games like that just take some time. I would love to... I'd love to get into that at some point. I know Keith wants... really wants to play Diablo 3 at some point. As, like, a series. But I... I don't know if I could 
I could do it. I, we could probably do it. Personally, I want to play, like, Diablo 2 again. Get that on camera before it becomes non-functional. Uh, let's see. Come to Pyro. Pyro. Nope. This thing? Cool. I actually kind of... I would love it if, uh, if DE made, like, a, a campaign mode, uh, like, Halo style. This thing is going to blow up before it, I do anything useful for, with it. It also does significantly less damage than my own gun. What what happens? Oh, it's out of, it's out of juice. No. Oh, well. Focus earned none. Uh, let's see. What was I gonna say? Games. Oh, yeah. I'd love it if uh, DE made, like, a Halo-style campaign mode for this. I know that's kind of what the quests are, quests are for, but, like, if they actually just sat down and made, like, a, a super linear story mode uh, for Warframe, I would, I would be very happy. Because it... This game is gorgeous. They've always had, like, really nice set pieces and stuff. And it would be, you know, really enjoyable to actually have, like, some kind of campaign mode. But I guess the problem with the uh, campaign modes is they might not be immediately re uh, replayable, so a lot of people probably won't. Which I can kind of understand. I don't know. They probably also don't have the budget for that. I actually have no idea what uh, the financials on a studio like DE is. I assume it's fairly good. I mean, this game has probably one of the most dedicated fan bases I have ever seen on a game. Uh, period. As far as, like, free-to-play goes. Like, most, most free-to-play games kind of dry up after a while. And Warframe kind of feels like it's progressively getting better. Part of it is, like, it is, it is, like, really good gameplay. Um, like, I, I can't stand, like, World of Warcraft anymore. Even though, like, I'd love to go back to it because World of Warcraft was, like, a wonderful experience. I could never get into just how slow and boring that gameplay became after a while. Is he still alive? He's still alive. That's annoying. Yeah, Shell really likes the story, which I totally can, like, understand. Usually I just read the wiki for that, honestly, but, like, I can understand why she would like it. I'm... This is probably virtually unwatchable. I'm just going to kill him. Uh, where are we going? Oh, we're going over there. I am not paying attention. I'm just killing people. Let's see, didn't they do a big update for WoW to make leveling faster? Yeah, they did. Uh, which is kind of neat. I just... I, I feel like WoW would be... Um... Oh, yeah. They made it so... It, they made it like Guild Wars 2 where you scale kind of to the area. Which I think is a very smart decision. Yeah, close enough. Because, honestly, originally, uh, World of Warcraft, you're like, Oh, let's complete this ch quest chain. Oh, never mind, I've out-leveled it. Uh, on to the next one, rinse, repeat forever. I always hated that. Made it much, much more difficult to, like, stick around. Made every area just feel kind of empty. But, like, if War if World of Warcraft had, like, a really, uh, really, like, dynamic, um, third-person, like, action combat system, I think it would be really fun. Well, I want somebody to make something that's effectively, uh, World of Warcraft, but with, like, a, a Soulsier style, like, gameplay, third-person uh, third combat, Z-targeting, Z I don't know, lock-ons and stuff. That'd be fun. Nobody will ever make it. MMOs are kind of dying. There's like a couple that that are alive, but most of them are just kind of bad. Uh, just kind of bad knockoffs and faulty products. Nope, I don't think I'm going to kill the Dargan. Whatever. I don't even know where the enemies are. 
I'm hearing them die. I'm seeing, like... I, I'm seeing where they're dying, but I'm not seeing seeing them to kill them. I mean, it doesn't help that I fire a gun that shoots confetti. I mean, it's a super deadly exploding confetti, but it is confetti nonetheless. It'd be nice if there was, like, an enemy radar uh, mod that you could get for your Sentinel that would actually, like, outline everybody in red. Uh, if they weren't, like, easy to see normally. That actually, that'd be really nice. Maybe a little bit too too easy out here, though. Sonar. Oh, uh, like Banshee Sonar? I actually, I think I made Banshee Prime, but I don't think I've loaded her up at all. Oh, it should blip every couple of seconds. Okay, I see. So not a Banshee thing. But yeah, that would be cool. I don't know, there's a billion ways that they could handle it. I just, I'm just like, I'm running around and I'm like, I'm just shooting at things, and maybe there's an enemy there, maybe there's not. This is why I like AOE, AOE guns, it's just like, oh, there's an enemy over here. Well, now they're dead. Let's see, oh, you're right here. There we go. MMOs I can think of offhand would be WoW, EVE, Final Fantasy XIV, and then Warframe, kind of, sort of. Uh, yeah, kind of. I'm trying to think of other specific MMOs. There was, like, that Albion Online game that I played for a little while, but that was trash. I mean, RuneScape. Let's not forget the old, the ancient, uh, ancient ones. I think Rift is still active, though I have no idea if it's any good. There's like a bunch of games from Perfect World Entertainment, but I think they're all terrible. Uh, I don't know if Elite Dangerous still counts. Probably doesn't. I mean, I guess it's like kind of the free-to-play version of EVE. So I guess maybe it does count. Ow. Oh, am I walk? No, I'm just getting shot by something. Or I'm in a super deadly area. Well, I'm back. I'm just going to stay away from that. Rift has turned into microtransaction. Loot box central. I, the main problem is Eidolon lens. I've actually never gotten one of those. I don't even know what you use them for. The main problem with uh, MMOs in like a lot of games nowadays is they're trying to uh, nickel and dime it so they can keep it alive. Uh, a lot of games just aren't... Like, nobody wants to pay for a um, subscription fee anymore, so everybody has to come up with some alternate means of monetiz monetization. Old Republic, yep, there's one. I don't actually know how popular Old Republic is. I, If they ever announce that they're going to be shutting it down within like X number of months or stopping development or something, I'll probably go do s series on it just so Shell, uh, Shell and I can have that on our channels. I would actually play, I wonder if there's like private servers for Old Republic. Uh, leveling speed, mostly. So we could skip all the dumb side quests that nobody like likes to do. Because I remember playing World of Warcraft. The first time I ever played World of Warcraft, honestly. Eidolon Lens is one greater to make an Eidolon, Eidolon Lens one. Okay, I'll have to look into what that does. Um. But I, uh... I played World of Warcraft on a private server for a couple weeks, honestly. Um, and it was fun. You can see Wander playing as a Sith. I did actually enjoy the uh, Sith, whatever the like Sith tank was. I played, I played that. Honestly, the Sith, the Sith storyline was neat. I liked the um, the spy guy too. He was cool. Yeah, we didn't get that far in, but it was still fun. Maybe I'll just run it like, uh, oh, hi, I'm here now. Hello! That was fast. That helps. Okay, best to switch to the Eidolon hunting squad now, whatever that's going to be. Uh, might actually be this. Unless, I don't know, you guys want to switch it around. Uh, I have no idea what, what specifically 
uh, is good. I think Acleon said he'd he'd be patient and uh, join us on the on the next round. Uh, what should I load up for Eidolons? Because I've never actually seen the new ones, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. Where's the... I've forgotten where this stupid... Oh, there it is. It's over here. Okay, so they just have more parts on them and require more lures. Okay. Other services. Uh, nothing immediately. Amp assembly. I don't think I have any of the parts needed for it. I can preview. But I don't have any of them. Yeah, part of it is I've just not gotten very far with my standing or any of these things. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got 4,000 standing. I've got a couple of these. Actually, if you guys have any recommendations on um, what kind of... Uh, what kind of amp to get, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Because I, I really don't know uh, what I'm doing with, like, half this stuff. The T21 is pretty good. Uh, which one is that? Just... Okay. Pinch a scaffold is best sca scaffold. Okay, that's the wrong one. Uh, quill standing. So pinch a scaffold is the best sca scaffold. I think I ended up with the Shrock Sun one. Let's see, what did I even... What do I even need to make these? Because I don't think I've... Yeah, I'd have to make some of them too, which requires mining. wonder what's your character wearing? Uh, it's just, you know, it's just the Kermit the Frog suit. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, I guess... I should probably uh, switch to a character with some survivability. She's almost maxed out anyway. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know. I think I like Nidus for this, so I'll probably just go Nidus. I'll just assume everything else will sort itself. Whoa! This... Pyro, you're, uh... <laughs> Look at a little... Huh. That, uh... the chest piece looks goofy. Haro could be good. I could do Haro. I'm not against Haro. I assume I'm just supposed to use the chain things to... Okay, seven second covenant. I don't... Uh, covenant's the number four one, right? I actually have totally forgotten the name. I, I actually don't even know the name of... Okay, yeah, seven seconds on covenant. I think I, I, think I can do that. Okay, um... Fourth to be invulnerable for the big waves. Remind me again, once you do the big, big waves, like, what's the tell for it so I can remember what to look for? Because, like... Okay, whenever you guys break apart. Gotcha. Yeah, it has been a substantial amount of time since I last did any kind of Eidolon hunting. And so... I don't exactly remember the uh, process. Oh, there's the pop-up for the energy spike. Unfortunately, I have that notification turned off because it's just like... Because I'm, um... 
Uh, because I'm commentating. Uh, because I'm commentating, it becomes a, uh... A chore? You hear the other characters talking. Yeah, the sound off, not the pop-up. Yeah, I just tend to ignore the pop-up. Is that him? Ah, oh, yeah, that's him. So this is just the terror list. Usual one. Oh, is there a wisp? I should probably go looking for the wisps at some point. I've got a couple now. I don't actually remember what I needed the Cetus wisps for. Okay, so this is the T2 prism, the Pew Pew. Okay. I will have to mess around with them. Okay, that's an idle on part. Yeah, I kind of vaguely remember this process, but I've only ever participated mostly in the shooting, because you guys learned it all, and I was just like, I'm just gonna follow along. Oh, looks like he's up. Is he? I think he is. Oh, nope. It's broken. Uh-oh, I don't have energy. I'm sorry. It totally ran out of, or totally ran out. I didn't have any juice. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Stole that. Let's see, do I have energy pads? I actually don't. Like, I am, I'm a very bad Warframe player. Um, I, I've noticed this with, uh, I've noticed this with, Monster Hunter as well. I'm very much like a... Uh, I'm very much a, like, kind of rely on other people. Not because I'm terrible, but just because I don't have time to learn. Even though I should. Oh, do we have another Wisp? We do have another Wisp. Um, and, like, I don't have the, the time to know all the things that you guys do. Because uh, the time it would take to actually master these things is time that I usually spend doing, like, half my other series. Which is a problem. Uh, it'd be nice. I, I should probably look up. There's got to be, like, a, a primer on, like, how to... How to... How to, uh... Go Eidolon hunting. And not be, like, an idiot. So I'm just gonna wait. Okay. Well, that worked. Alright, 50% crit chance. Have fun, guys. Does that actually uh, apply when we're like this? I have no idea. It probably went away really fast. Oh, those are the Eidolon lures. I can't see anything. Is he still here? He's still here. There's a lot going on. Well. I'm mostly just here, here for the number four. Oh, is he up? Covenant. Gotta say, that is helpful. Okay, yeah, so I'll just harrow it up. Uh, just be, just be helper man. I guess I can kind of shoot him with my moat. The thing I hate about my mode is I just run, of, run out of energy really, really quick. 
Okay, so the crit buff does not apply to Operator. That's unfortunate. When, when I first heard of Planes of Eidolon, I got really excited. I thought it was going to be, um... I thought it was going to be much more of a... I thought it was going to be much more of a, like, uh... Uh, much more of, like, the Operator is kind of a replacement for frames. I still can't tell what's going on. There's just special effects for days. Hey, kill the bombs. Man, I can't even see the bombs. Like back back when uh, we were doing this the first time, I was pretty good at spotting the bombs. Oh, there comes some. But now it's just like, uh, uh, what is even, where are they? I really wish you could just kill the Vomulus, uh... Kinda wish you could just kill the Vomulus on, um... On your own. Sort of? I don't know. Like, without your operator. Switching back and forth always felt kinda weird. I wonder if it'd actually be more, um... Feasible for me to just consistently be... Running around in number four to keep the damage off you guys. Okay, T3 Scabbard is the best Vomulus killer. Good to know. So did he, uh... He is straight up dead? Yeah, it looks like he's straight up dead. It's so much easier getting those, um... It's so much easier getting the, uh, intact sentient cores and all the other stuff, though. So we're just hanging out, or... What is this? Sacrifice shard. Oh. What does this do? Oh, we sacrifice shards to spawn the next one. Oh, that's cool. This is... Just in general, neat. Oh, and he's got a big old rock. So after you've got all of your moats and your amps and stuff like that, prepare your eyeballs. Oh boy, is this guy bright? So many laser rains. Okay. Should I just uh, kind of consistently be running around it? Uh, with my number four running. Tough to say. Okay. I'll just, uh... I'll just wait for a good time. Ow. I see what you mean. So whenever he takes a step, it's a shockwave. Okay. Well, tell me what I should be looking out for, and I'll start, um... I'll... I'll do the protection thing. Stay inside the hex field. Gotcha. I assume the hex field protects you against super lasers or something? It looks like he's just firing disco balls up into the sky. Okay, so I'm not too close to him. That's good. He does have a lot of lasers. It doesn't look like he's vulnerable yet. Yeah, no, he's not vulnerable yet. Uh
That was a good time for lasers, probably. Okay, shoulder blades first. I don't think I can... Okay, these things. Yeah, I do, like, no damage to them. I do not hurt him at all. I'll just let you guys do it. Okay. I think I did it too early, I'm sorry. Or it just didn't go at all? What? Okay, I'll try and be more careful. I'm not actually sure what happened there. It was like ability in use, and I'm like, it very clearly is not. Unless it was waiting for the buff. Probably because of laser rain. Yeah, it was because of laser rain. That's why. Okay, well, I guess I'll only save it for the uh, for the big nuke, and for the nothing else. Wonder when you do when do you play Slay the Spire? Ah, uh, tomorrow. It's kind of based on need more than uh, a specific schedule. I'm trying to start. I'm trying to get into a specific schedule system for things, but uh, I'm bad at it. I got too many games coming out and not enough time. Oh, always be it. Okay, is he vulnerable? Does he still have shields up? Okay, I think he's vulnerable. I'll just hang out near the lures. Cool. Whatever that was. Okay, good to go. Ow. Stupid bombs. Get out of here. No. Yeah, if I seem like I'm not contributing as much as I sh should or could be, much of it mostly has to do with the fact that I'm, um, still kind of mostly watching him and I know I don't do too much damage, so I'm just like, I'll j I'm just here for the buff. I know my place in life, and that's fine. And then at some point I'll, uh... At some point, I'll actually, like, uh, whoops. I'm down already. Fortunately, this guy does a ton of damage, I think. I don't even know what's going on. Uh, let's see. Do we have any Vomulus? Because that's probably where, like, my best, um... Bup, bip, dip, bup, bip, bip, bup, bip. I'm bleeding out. Ah, shoot. Oh, that was a bad time to die. I should have turned back and... Eh, whatever. I am, um... It's going well. Don't mind me. Okay, uh, looks like... Is this the Vom Rampage, or... Is it kind of like this weird arbitrary... Why can't I shoot anything? Oh! It really is disco time. This is, uh, this is neat. I don't know what's going on. I'm mostly just kind of hoping I'm helpful. Let's see, yeah, he's still got shields on. Not for long, he's got some. I gotta, I gotta invest some stuff into focus. Uh, get my operator buffs going. Ow. I guess what I should do is probably just stay in operator mode until I see the, uh, the warning show up and then we'll go from there. Oh, that's a whole bunch of damage prevented. I don't think I've ever prevented this much damage before. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm kind of disappointed that there's no that there's a, a maximum on this. I think it would be hilarious to get like It'd be hilarious to get, uh, like, 
maximum damage or maximum damage crit boost. Uh, eh, maximum crit boost of like five thousand percent or something based on like the hundred thousand. Ah! Stop! I wanna I wanna come back. I just wanna be in the fight. Oh shit! Uh, well. You exchange brilliant shards for focus. Okay. Also, it looks like my entire focus setup might have gotten refunded. I kind of figured as much, honestly. Oh. I might as well grab this as I go by. Oh, it even tells you what stage you're on for this. That's cool. The shields are down. Oops. That's a bit far away. What are the lures doing? Eh, lures are doing okay. Ah, eh, lasers. I'm just gonna let you guys keep hitting him in the places. I wanna be I wanna make sure I'm alive for for when he goes down. I'm not even sure what I'm shooting. Okay. There it is. And there we go. Disco Taka. There we go. Am I gonna fight the bigger one? Is there a bigger one than this one? Boy. Probably, yeah. There is a bigger one. Okay. I almost feel like you need your, um... I almost feel like you should have your, uh... Uh, what am I thinking? Your arc wing for fighting the biggest one. It is worse in every way. Well then, I hope you guys uh, safely carry me to victory. Because I certainly am not going to be uh, contributing as much as I, I probably should or could. <laughs> okay, we'll need more one more lure for it. Oh, that's fine. I mean, you guys seem to be experts at this. I shouldn't be here. Okay. This is unilaterally pain. Okay, good. Nobody went down. I'm gonna have to go back for whatever that core is. I love the fact that the cores are marked now. That is quite possibly one of my favorite changes that they've done for this guy. Because it makes, uh, it's gonna make getting all of the, uh, sentient cores just so much easier. Oh, speaking of, there's a shit ton of them. But yeah, if we're lucky after this trio of hunts, maybe I'll be able to, um... After this, this trio of hunts... Trio? Yeah, I guess there, there's three of them. Uh, oh, I left my frame underneath him, his legs. Yeah, that's probably a bad place to be. Uh, maybe I'll be able to rank up or maybe build one of the, uh, things. See, what is he doing? He, like, just pooped. I don't, I don't know why he just pooped. If you have the healer arc wing, the fight will also not be so hard. Huh. I didn't, I didn't realize that actually having an arc wing would be helpful on these things. how slow my energy recovers is actually suck okay ow should I be uh should I be doing my armor buff or are we good I don't know how much damage everything's taken I'll just keep going for the Vomulists. That seems like a, a safe sort of bet. If I can hit them before they... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I want that homing laser. 
At the very least, a homing laser would save me a fair amount of trouble. No, come back. You run away, piece of loot. After playing Monster Hunter World so much, playing like a Monster Hunter equivalent of uh, or Monster Hunter crossed with Warframe, I think would be lovely. I'd love to see them do that. That'd be fun. Unlikely to happen, but it'd be fun. <laughs> 